Today, I'm trying something I don't normally do. No, I'm not damping my M4 iMac. I have unplugged my main computer and I'm putting it completely aside. Because for the rest of the day, this is the only laptop I'm allowed to use. It's a 2021 business laptop and honestly, I don't know if it's going to survive my workflow. So here's the plan. I'm a creative person. I do Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, lot of browsing, lot of tax open, client work, and I'm always multitasking. So I'm going to use this laptop exactly how I normally work. I'm going to test installing Adobe apps, basic Photoshop work for a client, Illustrator, building a landing page with multiple tabs, video editing in Premiere Pro, webcam test outside, battery life, and if you can handle light gaming, at least. First thing I'm noticing, the ports. This is one thing I like about business laptops. You actually get ports, HDMI, USB Type-C, USB Type-A, headphone jack, the whole thing. 14 inch laptop for creative work. We will see. I'm raising it up a bit with a book and connecting my mouse, my keyboard, and yeah, it feels like a railway station now. And the brightness difference is crazy. My monitor is just way easier to look at. But let's not just yet, let's work. Before I even jump into work, let's do a simple test. Playing a 4K YouTube video on this laptop to see what happens. Not gonna lie, the colors are actually decent. Bezels though, yeah, the bezels are thick. Wait, hold on, this is in the touch screen. Wow. I have been using it and I've, I didn't even realize that it is a touch screen. That is so cool. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Now the speakers. Him, but he was, so he decided to pull over. David Goggins! Hi! I'm gonna shake your hand. I wanna shake your hand, man. So more blessings to you, man. I watch you all the time. I love you, man. What's your name? My name is Justin. I'm on YouTube as well. Can I send you a message or something? Hang on a second. What's your name, man? Chris Lynn. They sound a little bit tiny, not terrible, but not impressive. I'm installing Creative Cloud, Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, the whole thing. Photoshop opens not as fast as my M4 iMac, but it opens. So basic graphic design, this is good. My only problem right now is screen real estate. Everything feels tight. So that's why I keep saying this, that if you are buying a 14 inch laptop and you are a creative person, somebody who multitasks, please plan for an external monitor because the screen real estate on this isn't the best. You're going to be much more efficient and much, much more productive with an external monitor. This keyboard, wow. This is one of the best keyboards I've typed on. I'm telling you, this typing experience is actually crazy good. Like, it feels better than a lot of expensive laptops. So if you type a lot, email, documents, script, this is a win. Trackpad is also decent. Next, I'm building a landing page. So far, so good. All right, Premiere Pro. First time launching it after installation, it's taking the bits, which is normal. It says something about initializing GPU, so I'm waiting. Okay, it opens. So here's the honest truth. If you want to edit heavy videos in Premiere Pro on this kind of laptop, you can do it, but you will suffer. And it makes sense. No dedicated GPU, integrated graphics. So I'm not even shocked. But if you use something lighter like CapCut, it will probably feel way better. Now I'm stepping out with this laptop and once I got out, I checked the battery. This is draining fast. I'm seeing numbers drop quickly than I like. For me, this feels like around two to three hours of real use. Another thing outside, the brightness is not strong. So this is not the kind of laptop you enjoy outdoors in bright light. Now, I want to test the webcam. I notice it has privacy switch. That's actually a cool business feature, but the camera itself, not the best. Now gaming, this is not a gaming laptop, so I'm not expecting FIFA 2024 to run well. Light game, yes, something like Plants vs Zombie is playable, but modern games, that needs a dedicated GPU. 
For those of you who have been asking me, where do I get my games? I buy them using the EA Play Store, like it's a subscription, monthly subscription. So I hope this answers your question. So in terms of gaming, no, I don't want anybody to lie to you. If you want real gaming, you need dedicated graphics. The price of this laptop is 389 on Amazon at this time of recording. You can find a better deal on eBay if you search. I'll put links in the description if you want to check it out. So after spending a day with this ThinkPad, here's what I have to say. For business use, it gets the work done. If you're a student or if you do office work, browsing, PowerPoint, emails, even basic Photoshop, Canva, and CapCut, you'll be fine. But if you are doing heavy Premiere Pro editing, heavy gaming, GPU stuff, this is not that laptop. What I love, the matte body feels premium. The keyboard is a 10 out of 10. The post selection is really good. What I don't love is the webcam is average. The bezels are too thick. Screen is small. Battery is not strong, especially used. So the real takeaway is simple. This is a good laptop if your use case is realistic. So yeah, that's my full day with this laptop. If you enjoyed this kind of real life test, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.